I was watching this video today on social media and it said the truth that your pastor doesn't want you to know. <laughs> and I was like, I was like all intrigued. I was like, okay, what? What is this? What is this secret information, right? What, is, what are the things that your pastor doesn't want you to know? And I watched the video and it was something like, it was, it was what Paul believed about end times. It was, it was just Paul's uh, belief in the second coming. And I was like, that's the big secret. That's what your pastor doesn't want you to know. What, what Paul believed about Jesus returning. And I thought, that's so, <laughs> that's so disappointing. What a letdown video. But lately, this is something I've just been seeing. People on social media people on the internet trying to discredit the Bible. You know, there's, there's people saying, well, look at this part in the Bible, it doesn't line up with history. Or look at these two passages in the Bible, they contradict each other. And I think to myself, okay, but my faith isn't based on that. My faith isn't based on that. My faith is based on Jesus Christ, the fact that he lived, he died, he said he was God, and he came back to life. I think the reason why people try to discredit the Bible is because it's true. And people don't like it when they're told they're wrong. They don't like being told how to live, especially if it's true, especially if it disagrees with what they believe. And so I don't have any problem with people who are trying to make a name for themselves on the internet by making these videos because my faith is based on the resurrection and my faith is based on truth.